everyone. My name is Shawna Gearman and I'm the Assistant Clinical Director here at Kaleidoscope Interventions. This video is brought to you by Kaleidoscope Interventions in partnership with Puzzlebox Academy. Today I'll be discussing about how to give up toys. And giving up toys is all about compliance, so we will talk about three different ways to increase compliance. The very first method I'll be discussing is called high probability sequence. This sounds a little complicated, but it really isn't. When you want your child to complete a, a task that they really don't want to do, um, you can place this request after a series of tasks that they're more likely to complete. Um, there's usually simpler tasks, it's usually one or two, maybe three tasks, such as, hey, give me a high five, clap your hands, or hand me um, the pen, um, and then that is followed by the less probable response, such as give me your iPad. So what that would look like is, hey bud, clap your hands, give me a high five, hand me that pen, okay, hand me your iPad. Um, doing it this way uh, will most likely lead to higher rates of compliance. High probability sequence may be more successful if you do the task with the child. Also, be enthusiastic, smile, and make it fun and exciting. The second method we'll be discussing today is using a timer. Um, timers are very, very useful when it comes to getting your child to give up a preferred item. First, you will want to set a specified time on the timer, which you can tell your child, I will be setting the timer for three minutes. Prior to using the timer, it is very important to set the expectation by telling the child how long they have with their item. As soon as that is complete, you would set the timer. Let's say uh, you have three minutes with your iPad. You would set the timer for three minutes. And as soon as the timer goes off, then you relinquish the iPad. Um, it might take a couple times for your child to learn that when they hear the timer, it is time to give up whatever item they are using. Um, but as long as you follow through and you are consistent, eventually they will learn and it'll become much easier. Something to do, if, especially if you're just starting with a timer, is to give the child a warning of one minute left, 30 seconds left. That way they are not surprised when it goes off after their three minutes, which they may not agree is long enough. But that is okay. Um, they will get used to it. The third method we'll be discussing is offering alternative choices. When it's time to give up the iPad, it is easier to accept if you offer an alternative choice for them to engage in. Um, for instance, let's say you know that your child loves to go outside um, or they like to go on a walk. So if it's time to give up the iPad, you can say, all right, we're all done with the iPad. Would you like to now go on a walk or go outside? By offering two alternative choices, it has been shown that they will be more likely to comply. Thank you very much for watching this week's video. If you have any comments, please leave them below. If you yourself are experiencing any challenging behaviors that you would like some advice on, also leave those in the comments and our expert team of behavior analysts will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.